Here's something I completely forgot that I had downloaded for the PS4. This is a Code Vein Trial Edition. I vaguely remember Code Vein as being a game that I was interested in checking out sometime. I think I heard some good things about it. I have a vague memory of it being described as sort of Souls-like. I don't know if that's true or not, but I guess I'm about to find out. This is a trial version, only the character's appearance settings in the save, blah blah blah, etc. Bandai Namco Studios, which probably means there'll be all kinds of difficulty uplo uploading videos of this game, because Bandai Namco is famous for copyright claims and stuff like that. This game uses an auto-save feature, please do not quit the game, blah blah blah. Got it. Code Vein trial version. Press any button. Well, this sounds very gothic. Before beginning the game, you must accept the terms of service. Blah 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 blah. Sure. I agree. I agree again. Select the region. Brightness settings. Good enough. Let's do offline. Let's check the settings. Uh, that looks fine. Control settings. Whatever. Cancel and go back. Camera brightness sound. Let's turn down the sound effects. Always like to do that. And let's start a new game. Here we go. A trial version of Code Vein. Coming up any second now. After the incredibly long loading screen. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hey. hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. Think back. Think back. Search your Search memory, memory for an image of yourself. Of yourself. Uh... I mean, <laughs> the game starts out with a decision that I don't know how to make. Remember my name or remember my appearance first. I guess I'll do my appearance first. Oh god, it's an anime game. Okay. Uh, basic appearance. Can we do randomize? Where's a random setting? Is there a randomize button? Randomize? Okay, let's just pick something at random. Uh, I didn't know this was going to be an anime game. Uh, that one. That's me. Yes, I want to select that appearance. And confirm. And now we need to remember a name. I need to enter a name. Uh... Guilt? Code name? Um... Code name... Gold. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to pick here. Good enough. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's what, what you look, you look like. like. Now, now. We, can we can finally, finally meet. meet. The voice sound is very quiet. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, it is sort of Soulsy-ish in the controls, at least. Hello. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There okay. are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. 
Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Check my blood code. Revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code, revenant stats will differ. To view these stats, select the currently ecliptic blood code on the menu screen. I don't know what any of that meant. It's on options, though. It said to click options. Uh, <laughs> what? Inventory. Where do I see anything that says blood code? I guess it's that big X thing. The blood code says fighter, both endurance. Oh, so it's a class. Why don't you just call it a class? Why do you have to call it a blood code? That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. I wish I knew how to do that. That would be one of these things, I assume. The Triple Annihilator, is that? How do we... Ah, oh, down arrow to use the Triple Annihilator? How do we actually swing? Okay. X is how we swing. So it does... Okay, that's our dodge roll. That's the most important thing we need to learn. Strong attack is a triangle. Okay. We got a stamina bar, it looks like. Rest at the missile. Try equipping a adrenaline. Did I not do that already? Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh... Oh, okay. Give it a try. Okay. Adrenaline! Wait, try using adrenaline. R2. What? Oh. Hold. Okay. R2 plus O. Oh. Yes, that will do. Be warned. Ooh. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gift. Use and learn each of them well. <laughs> oh, we have to actually fight now. Oh, okay. We got targeting. Just like Dark Souls. Is my and L1 to guard. Well, that was not that difficult. Can I go now? Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. Ranger Code Owner Unknown. This code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. You acquired a new blood code. I think I'll change it because it's telling me that I'm supposed to change it to a ranger. You no longer meet the stat requirements to wield one of your things. That blood code is known as ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Okay. That would be the Queen Slayer Bayonet. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? 
Oh, firing your bayonet requires Ikor as well. That and gifts means Ikor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Ikor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Ikor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Ikor from a foe, use it. Try defeating the lost. Oh, so okay, we can't. Hold X to drain? What is that? R1 plus X to combo drain. How does that? Oh, R1 plus X. Oops, I missed that by a mile. Backstab. Yikes. Did I... Did I do it? Did I drain stuff? I don't know. I don't know what I'm... This tutorial is really boring. <laughs> this is a terrible way to start a game. That sums up the Ranger blood code and draining. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. Another one. The caster. Okay. And I no longer meet the stat requirement again. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. I've never heard of a caster before in a game, but I... I do have to switch my weapons, right? Do I not have to change? Try using bloodshot? Do I not have to? It says I can't use my weapon anymore. Shouldn't I change that? Not letting me change my weapons. Try using bloodshot. favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Okay. I'm gonna rest at the missile. Acquire inherit gifts. I can learn. What is it called? Oh, there it is. Blazing Roar. Or Dark Impulse. I can't learn that one, though. Bloodshot. Weapon Drain. I guess I'll get Blazing Roar. I acquired a gift. You discovered a gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient with a gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. Okay. Max out proficiency? You do not have enough hands. Okay, whatever. Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? This is actually pretty freaking complicated for the very first start of the game. It's a powerful gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. It can be complicated. That didn't seem complicated. Oh, it's got a cooldown. Okay, so I just wait. I got him. Took some damage, though. Not that I can take damage in the tutorial. Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? 
the disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Can we get to the real game now? Awaken. Yes. Save the world. I am ready to awaken and save the world. I am so ready. Revenant transformation. Revenants were created by implanting an engineered boar parasite into the heart of a human corpse. By holding the parasite's invasion at a certain level, hosts were able to maintain their own volition. But... But revival could take years, something, something, something. Hello? Hello? Welcome back. Thank you. Hello? How are you feeling? I don't know. I'm feeling like this game is starting out very slow. I have a vague memory that I may have seen somebody playing the first part of this game before. That tutorial thing was vaguely familiar to me. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. See, this does seem vaguely, vaguely familiar to me. I don't know what that means. I may have seen somebody playing this. I may have tried to watch somebody play this to evaluate it's dry, isn't it? whether I wanted to get it. I'm walking very slow because I'm limping. Go slowly. I have no choice but to go slowly, apparently. I'm here with you. I see that you're here. Why are you here? Just a bit farther. It's actually a long distance because I'm going very slowly. We're all right. <laughs> what are these like personal Our affirmations? Thirst. <laughs> you're all right. Everything is fine. You're doing okay. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. Oh. 
My blood has nourished this so, tree. It is you. I guess it is me. Uh, here. This is for you. I'm so confused, girl in white. Are you a vampire? Am I a vampire now? A new spring and a fresh source of labor. Ha <laughs> ha! We really hit the jackpot! Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. This game is... We're about to go hunt for blood beads. Hurry up and get ready. Strange. You awake then? Whoa, keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. Am I playing now? Hey, girl in white. Are you awake? She is not awake. So, what happened to your masks? What? What masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Okay. I should do some sort of anime voice. Okay, I will. <laughs> Number three and four. Check your gear and come up. Are you talking to me? Hello, how are you? The view never improves, does it? He came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist? Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. I'll cross the mist with the power of friendship. <laughs> Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Without those things, we Revenants will join the ranks of the Lost in a flash. So be careful. I'll be careful. Thanks, friend. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. My friend, the girl in white, bit my arm and made blood beads. It was easy. Are you going to kill me too? Anything for a kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. I'm not here for your memories. I just wanted to talk. Okay, I'm going up the ladder now. Hello, anime friend. I don't watch anime, so I don't really know what anime sounds like. I just assume it sounds like super excited kids. We're excited. We're gonna stop this thing with the power of friendship. Hiya! Memory loss can occur when a revenant is first something something something. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> All dried up. 
just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... Hey. That's not nice. You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the Collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Oh no. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. Silva sounds mean. Go first. Get to work. Hey, don't take my I friends. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next. Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Okay, thanks for the friendly advice. You he seemed nice. Him. Move it! Ouch! <sighs> Hey, you okay? I'm okay. It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. It's great to meet you, Oliver. We're best friends now. We'll defeat this place with the power of friendship. Holy crap. Oliver, you have a giant mace. I only have a pipe. Wait, I think I remember. Blood bead bonanza. I remember something about. Oops, resting at the missile. Something about changing my thing. I can change to a ranger or a caster. Sure. <clears throat> I'm gonna be a caster. Or no, I'm just gonna be a fighter. That's plain and simple. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. That sounds like a good idea, Oliver. Will that come in handy? I hope so. Lost shards. Oh, here's the thing I was supposed to rest at. I'm resting at the missile, like the ghost lady told me at the beginning. Can I level up? Nope, I cannot. Start tutorial, oh god. So the fighter is like melee combat, the caster is distance and the ranger is support and defense buffs uh, I mean I I'll just be a fighter I guess I don't know I'm I'm really glad that I didn't pay any money for this because <laughs> I would have been very disappointed with this game if I had paid money for it what is it? X is my attack. The enemy? It's the enemy. I wonder if he wants to be friends. Don't mind my scary face. That's just my friendly scary face. Are we friends now? Oh, I think he's dead. That was fun. I wish that had been the tutorial. I will kill you now. 
Wow, I didn't have to do any dodging. It's super easy to kill these guys. I'm sure that I turned the sound effect volume down, but it doesn't really seem like I did. R1. So far, it seems pretty easy to just button mash to kill these people. This looks like a chest. That was the wrong button. Is there something good in there? There's a heavy axe in here. How do I get to my inventory? Oh, I have a hammer of thraldom. I didn't know that. I should have been using this. I got a hammer just like you. Mine's made of concrete chunks. Which way do you think is better? I don't know. I guess to the... Um, let's go to the left and beat this guy up. Retrieving haze. You lose any haze in your procession when you die. Okay, whatever. I've sort of lost interest in the instructions. I like the pipe better because it was faster. This thing is massively big. Boxes. Who stacked them here? I don't know. I think we should break them though. Oh no, it was a surprise enemy. Don't fall. Yeah. I'll try not to. I wouldn't want to lose your friendship. Oh no. Oh, he fell. Oh, we didn't get to talk to him. What's that doing there? We got an I-Core concentrate. Is my voice annoying yet? It's anime. Oh, there's another guy. This thing uses a lot of stamina. Oh, no. I got animation locked. Oh, there's another dude. I don't like this big chunk of concrete anymore. I'm going to try this new heavy axe that I got. It looks way cooler. What do you think that is? I think it's a truck. And some queen iron. It kind of looks like a dead end. I don't think we should go this way, Oliver. Ooh, a lost broadsword. That sounds fun. Oh, it's not very good, though. Not very good stats. It's only a C plus and a D dexterity. What is my strength? I don't know what my strength is, to be honest. Well, let's just use it based on whether it looks cool or not. It looks cool, so let's use it. Oh, it doesn't actually look that cool. Never mind, I'm going back to the axe if I can hit the right button. I hit the wrong button. Heavy axe it is, Oliver. Focus state, your focus gauge fills as you... I don't care. I don't just... I just don't care about all these complicated instructions. Oh my god, he's got a shield. Okay, probably should have read that then. You get him from the back. Good job, Oliver. We're defeating these monsters with the power of friendship. Hey, I mastered the adrenaline gift and the triple annihilator and the something, something, something. Is there something good in there? You have to use whatever you can to survive. It was a lost bayonet. Uh-oh. They're shooting. I'll get this guy. I... Okay. You're doing most of the work, Oliver. I don't really have to do very much. Let's open this door. Yeah, I'm fine. It's really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That I'm doing. Your friend, right? 
We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. I'm doing just fine. I don't know actually who that girl is. She just sort of appeared and was talking affirmations at me for some reason. I don't know why or who she is though. I'm not sure that I should really care whether she lives or dies. He's a total stranger to me. Oh, I was gonna sneak up on this guy. Wow, that was easy. Oh, it's a goo. It's a goo monster. The goo monster is dead. Good job, Oliver. We make a great team, Oliver. Well, something's above us. I think I saw that. I just have to swing two times really quickly in succession and they're dead. Awake MJ018, what is that? Is that like a... thing? Needle of Unity? Lost Shard? Bloodstains? An activator used to awaken dormant abilities in a blood code. Oh. Can I use that somehow? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Looks like something that unlocks something if I take it to something. <laughs> That's my best guess. Let's go up the ladder. Oh, there's some weird looking stuff here. Mapping during the exploration. When you purify the miasma in the area, blah, 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 you will be able to map your surrounding. You can purify miasma by... Act okay, is this like a... Oops, I fell down. I fell down, Oliver. Let's purify this rotten missile. And activate this checkpoint. We've activated this checkpoint with the power of friendship. Okay, we can either go that way. This is going on quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to, Oliver. I've been playing this game for 37 minutes now. Hey, we can roll into boxes just like Dark Souls. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna go this way. Is this the right way to go, Oliver? I don't know. Not a lot of room to swing a weapon around in here. It's too it's... cramped. I don't have any problem. I don't know what your problem is, Oliver. Great work. We did it. Ooh, that looks gross. Let's not go that way. Uh-oh. It's a cutscene. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Huh? Wow. I moved fast and got rid of that guy. <sighs> that could have gone better. Not for you. Not for me. I'll catch up with you in a bit. I think you're gonna die. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be alright. Go on. No, really. I'm pretty sure you're gonna die now. You just focus on finding some blood beads, alright? That girl is waiting for you. Am I gonna have to fight you in a boss fight later? Why is one of my eyes purple? I think I have a visual impairment. Okay, bye. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Don't work. See you later. I guess now I am on my own. L2 as the enemy attacks to parry. L2 is that? Oh, damn. Whoa, I have a claw for a hand. That's interesting. 
Oops. I didn't get to do my... Okay, I tried to parry both of those and it didn't seem to work. Maybe I should have snuck up on him. Oh, I'm talking to Oliver, but he's not here anymore. I am sad that Oliver is going to die. Oh, my goodness, there's a lot of bad people here. I'm going to try to parry this guy. Oh, I think it worked. That's a really forgiving hitbox on that. Because I was way early. It's a dagger. Can I throw daggers? I don't know what I just did. I just did some kind of buff. Oh damn, my red bar is down considerably. Oh, he swung twice. Okay, I want to parry him this time. Yeah. Do I have any way to get health back? Oh, okay. I just pressed the down arrow on the D-pad. And I got some health back. It was as simple as that. Are you guys okay? Oh, not cool. I hit the wrong button. I hit a Dark Souls button to swing and that didn't do anything. What the hell? Oh wow, I was way late on my parry. I hit like three different buttons trying to do that parry and none of them worked. <laughs> Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Hit me so I can do a parry. Oh, my parry was way late. How's that? What do you think of that? I need to heal now. I'm healing with the power of friendship. Oliver's not here, though. Oh, there's two of you. Ow, you... That hurt me. That hurt me deeply. Your gun has hurt me like harsh words. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Oops, I didn't sneak up on him. <laughs> I pushed the stick just a little bit too far and started running. And then he heard me. What is this? What are these sounds I'm hearing? Ah, jeez! Oh my god! What the hell? I think I'm gonna die now. I'm just gonna button mash my way through that. Holy crap, what was all that? I don't know what is going on with my bars down there. <laughs> I don't know how I survived that. Oh, that was regeneration. Oh, I... Nope, I don't have anything. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying now. Uh... This is the end for me, I think. I don't know what I just did. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Because I keep thinking I'm playing Dark Souls, but I'm not. Oh, okay, let's not... Uh, I think I'm going to be dying and going back to the beginning pretty soon. Remember me, Oliver. Remember me. I'm gonna parry this guy. Oh, no, I'm not. I am almost dead. I should go back, maybe. I am so close to dying. I don't know what to do, Oliver. My friend Oliver is gone and I don't know what to do. Hey Oliver, do you have any healing potions? 
Can you heal me? I'm almost dead. Don't worry about me. I'll be alright. I'm kinda worried because I'm almost dead. Maybe I can go back to the thing. Maybe I should go back to the the healing place. That's probably what I should do or else I'm gonna die. I'm gonna rest here at the... Wait, can I not do that? I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Well, that's a big old bummer. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna die then. Because... <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I will play until death. Oh, that guy looks very scary. I am pretty sure he's going to kill me. There's a shiny up there. I would love to find some healing of some kind. Is there anything in my inventory that'll do some healing? <laughs> anything? Chemical light. Anything? An item whose value varies wildly depending on who holds it. What is it? An Ikarkan is a bad dream. I would love to have some health. Bloodstained steak used to cause your body to disperse. Not consumed upon use, but all is that like go back to the last bonfire? A fragment of haze left. Okay, that's like souls. That's not gonna help me any. I guess. I don't know. I mean, there might be something good in that chest. But that guy's probably gonna kill me. Oh, wait. Oh my god, it's a missile! Did I do it? Did I win? I can't believe I survived! Yes! Yay! Yay! What? Health boost. Temporarily boost attract power. Can I do anything with any of this stuff? I don't know, I haven't really needed any of this stuff up to now, so... Can I level up? Oh, I can level up. Holy crap, I can level to level 4. Should I do that? I mean, it seems like I should. I don't get to pick my stats, I just level up. That's all I do. Oh, okay, so I just used a bunch of souls to do that. Okay, now I can go kill this super angry looking fellow. And these guys re replenish. Let's get rid of these guys first. Oh, that was a good swing. Completely whiffed on him. Ow! You are mean. You're a big meanie. With your sword. some frame drops there. I love how it... I totally dodged that, but for some reason I took damage anyway. Oh, there's some stuff. I was trying to... I was trying to do a nice backstab on you, but you turned around right when I showed up behind you. Lost Bardish. What is a lost bardish? Not as good, that's what it is. None of these are as good. That's the axe. 
I will continue with the power of friendship and this giant axe. Okay. It's your turn now, sir. Whoa, you attacked way faster than I thought you were going to. I totally dodged both of those things and now I'm almost dead. Okay, I hit the wrong button. Okay, what the hell? Why did I not move? Wow, that's a weird looking mechanic. Good God, why is... Why am I using this pipe suddenly? Okay, well this is not going quite as well as I thought it was going to. Oh, I got you in the back. Are you my friend Oliver? Whoa, that hurt. I got you. Wow, that was... That was ugly. Why did I switch weapons? <laughs> Where did my axe go? Why? Oh, there's my axe. Why? <laughs> I hit the up arrow on the D-pad and I lost my axe for that whole fight. And now I don't have any healing left again. Oh, I got a Queen Slayer Thorn though. That's pretty cool. I guess. I don't know what that is. What is a Queen Slayer Thorn? It's not a weapon. Oh, it's armor. Oh, okay. Well. Oh. Put it on. Did I put it on? I didn't put it on. How do I put on the armor? I can't put on the armor. Why can't I put on the armor? Requi required stats. Mind D+. Plus. Okay. Well, that was a waste. That was a waste. Thanks for nothing. I think I want to rest again after that ordeal, <laughs> because that was an ordeal. In fact, I think I am actually going to stop here because I've been recording for a long time. And I'm going to return to the title screen and I'm going to say that that has been my first look at the Code Vein trial version which is you know at first I thought it was pretty terrible but once you actually get into the game once you get past all the tutorials and the crazy cutscenes and all the actual gameplay is not too bad I mean it's not great it's not it's no Dark Souls but it's passably entertaining so it's a game that I might someday get if I if I find that the game is on sale perhaps someday in the future. I might think to myself, hey, I remember that game. It wasn't that terrible. So maybe I'll just buy it. Like if it shows up on a sale for like $20 or something. Maybe I'll get it. But until then, that has been my... That is uh, the Code Vein trial version. It was okay. It was entertaining for 50-some minutes. Let's just get out of this cutscene, because it's probably going to cause a copyright strike or something. Because <laughs> it's Bandai Namco. Alright, that's all for now. See you later.